what's up everybody welcome back to talk that talk if this is your first time on the channel make sure to subscribe all right so we are going to start off with some good news okay one of my songs it is called hours and hours by mooney long she is number 16 on the billboard charts now if you kind of look at her story she has not had the best luck with record labels she has her own independent label now and she is killing it so make sure you go support her, you know, show her some love. The song is really, really dope. And her song blew up because of TikTok. And apparently, you know, she blew up with music on YouTube in the early 2000s. And now she kind of, you know, reinvented herself. She changed her artist name and her song Hours and Hours is doing great. All thanks to TikTok. And the song is just quality. I mean, a song really is not going to do well on TikTok if the song isn't good a little bit you know i like the song a lot so shout out to her also who i noticed is on the billboard number seven is gunna and future okay featuring young thug pushing p at number seven all right we got kodak black number five on billboard right now for super gremlin we also got adele easy on me holding that number two spot okay so people are on here all right people are on here doing their thing now speaking of music did you guys see the little snippet of a song that sweetie's doing so apparently she's doing a collaboration with h-e-r her i love her i love her so much her songs are so good now sweetie um just released a snippet of that song it wasn't a snippet of her verse though you just hear um her singing or h-e-r singing so um the song that snippet it does sound good it sounds like a good little bop that you could hear in zara or h&m while you shopping like so i'm definitely curious to see what is gonna happen Another artist who had released a snippet of a song that I'm very excited to hear is our girl, Haley. Okay, Haley Bailey, she released a snippet of a song. I saw this on her TikTok, but she also put it on her Instagram where she was riding this bike and she was clearly traveling. And the song sounds so smooth and soulful. And that's just like, the, my, that's my vibe, okay? So I'm really excited for her to release a solo record um because i think she's gonna do great things um Haley is also getting really good opportunities so she was just hired to be on the um the movie the color purple by oprah um taraji p henson is on there and also some other good folks is on there i just can't remember off the top of my head but she just got that role so i'm really excited for her still waiting for a little mermaid to come out because i know she's going to be doing a great job in that and doing um and doing songs for that so we'll see if she gets some soundtrack opportunities on the color purple as well but i just feel like like this is good news like that is like such a push in a really good direction so Haley putting out her music and getting even more acting exposure and like huge roles like the color purple's been out for a long time it's a classic in the little mermaid that's amazing you know so i really really am happy for her i really want to see her win now let's move on to young miami and Nicki minaj so in my last video i had talked to you guys about the whole situation between Nicki minaj and the city girls and Nicki explaining why she didn't want to work with the city girls because she found out that the city girls was talking trash about her you know this and this is years ago so Carisha, Young Miami actually did um, an interview and someone asked her, you know, is she remorseful? Like, does she regret the things that she said about Nikki? You know, being that they just made up and everything. I'll let you guys listen to the little snippet of the interview. But basically, you know, she does feel like she took an L. Um, be careful with the things you say, because they might catch up with you one day. You know, and like, I just feel like... I would tell my younger self to just stop trolling, stop just being childish, grow up and be mindful of like the things you say because everybody is human. I mean, she really did. They, they really took an L because they could have had the opportunity to work with Nicki Minaj, which is what I said in the last video. Like, you know, that's a big L and they're not going to be able to work with her from now on. So they just have to move on and see what else happens for them honestly 
I mean, I know they kind of tested the waters with going solo, but I really don't think that they're going to have as much success going solo as music as music artists. Like, I just don't see it. I can see JT getting a couple more features. I think Young Miami would do great on TV, like her own show, like her own little talk show or whatever. I think she would do great with that because she is um, like you gravitate towards her personality a lot more than you would to JT's personality. So I think she should definitely um, go on TV. Like if she can get her own little her own little late night show or whatever, I think she would do amazing at that. So, yeah. Now, let's move on to Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. So, they are on social media acting a complete fool because Kanye is causing drama about North. So, North has a TikTok and Kanye decided to ask Instagram what he should do about his child being on TikTok, basically without him knowing about it or whatever. So, Kim decided to address Kanye because she's tired of dealing with his BS. You know, I think North had this TikTok a while back already. So I would be a little frustrated as well. But Kim basically says, Kanye's constant attacks on me in interviews and on social media is actually more hurtful than any TikTok North might create. As the parent who is the main provider and caregiver for our children, I am doing my best to protect our daughter while also allowing her to express her creativity in the medium that she wishes in the medium that she wishes with adult supervision because it brings her happiness. Divorce is a difficult is difficult enough for basically their children. So she wants her to be on TikTok if that's okay and she could supervise it, that's fine. So she is trying to have nothing but a healthy and supportive co-parenting relationship with Kanye because it's what's best for the kids. But honestly, Kanye is causing her a lot of headaches. So Kanye asks, what do you mean by main provider? Which honestly, I was thinking the same thing because I'm like, whoa, Kim, you're the main provider. What do you, what do you mean by that? Like, is Kanye not contributing financially? So um, he says, what do you mean by main provider? America saw you try to kidnap my daughter on her birthday by not providing the address. You put security on me inside of the house to play with my son, then accuse me of stealing. I had to take a drug test after Chicago's birthday party at the Chicago's party because you accused me of being on drugs. And she's just like, I guess, making Kanye feel that he is just this really, really bad dude and he's off something. But I mean, I'm not going to comment on that part. That's not a place for me to comment. But this is a mess. They just really need to get it together because the public doesn't need to see this. Like, this is really disturbing to see, honestly. And they just need to figure it out for the kids' sake because I know this is unhealthy for the kids to be seeing and having to go through because all kids know when their parents are fighting. Let's just be honest. So comment down below what you think about that, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!